Thank you, Kira. And if you want to stay in Reykjavik, you are welcome to stay. So, uh, distinguished guests, uh, welcome to Reykjavik, uh, and welcome to the second annual Wellbeing Economy Forums uh, session, uh, focused on local level services. It's exciting to see the ambitious lineup here today, uh, and I'm convinced that this will be an equally enlightening session, whether you're new to the concept of uh, the well-being economy or already well-versed in it. Since I took office in January, uh, I made the point of uh, meeting people where they are, and I've had multiple open meetings and conversations uh, with residents, visited schools and preschools, community service centers, and participated in a variety of activities with senior citizens. And you all know how, they, how active they are. It has involved a lot of line dancing and you know, weightlifting and doing stretches. Uh, and it's wonderful. And what I've noticed is how much it means for people to be actively engaged in activities uh, and to have access to services that support well-being uh, both physically and mentally. Uh, Reykjavik is a city that has seen its share of transformative changes and I would like to take a moment to talk especially about transformative changes in behavior. As we've seen uh, with our strategic and quite successful policy to dramatically reduce the alcohol consumption of young people. Uh, that and other success stories from this city uh, make me believe uh, that we have a lot to offer uh, to the question on how can we move towards a well-being economy at the city level. And cities are the motors of change. The importance of local governance in the well-being uh, of people and in fact, the planet is indisputable. But it is nevertheless important to emphasize on how we as policymakers at the local level can have a significant impact on the lives of the citizens. Uh, and as mayor of Reykjavik, I of course declare that uh, my dedication to uh, promoting well-being in our safe and accessible city, where opportunities for healthy activities and education abound, and where participation is encouraged for all people of all ages. This is especially important when we think about the youngest generations. We strongly believe in providing children a head start um, in life and that the habits that they take up when they're young uh, will last a lifetime. Uh, the city offers a great variety of uh, recreational opportunities and services and through the recreation card all youngsters are supported financially to participate in sports at the club level. Uh, and through all its policies there is a recognition of the importance for people of all ages to have an active life and to be socially engaged. Dear guests, uh, since you're lucky uh, enough to be here in Reykjavik uh, that we love quite much. I have to use the opportunity to recommend a trip to one of Reykjavik's eight public swimming pools. This is a, this is a local tip for you. Uh, the thermal pools that are found in almost every neighborhood play a vital role in keeping our citizens active and healthy. Uh, there, are, there are places where people meet and they grow social connections, regardless of their status. We're all quite equally vulnerable in our swimwear. Uh, and in fact, our swimming pools are important gathering places where the warm water substitutes for the warmer weather that you guys may, ha may have in your hometowns. But I hope you have a protective conference and discover different, some new, and some uh, innovative ways to promote the well-being economy at all levels. Thank you.